How to use your book if it's your first time. Hey everyone and welcome, I hope you're all doing great. This video is going to be for those who are just getting started with your book and need to know how to get started using it. Basically, if you don't know, your book is a platform that is going to help you out with many things that are related to your business. You can see here some of the highlights of what your book can do. Promote services, sorry. Manage customer data, generate estimates, schedule jobs, and more. You can see more futures in this section here. You can see the futures for sales, business operations, and finance and records. There's a lot that you can do with your book. And what really tops this off as such a great platform is the fact that it is completely for free. 100% for free. Uh, except a few things. As you can see, if you click on why is it for free, uh, you can see they added some optional premium futures for larger companies that may require some more stuff, you know. But mostly, or entirely, you could say, your book is completely for free. So let's actually go ahead and not waste much time and go ahead and uh, sign up for Yardbook. Basically, you will need to just visit yardbook.com and then you will need to just go ahead and sign up free. Click on this button right here. And then you will need to just go ahead and fill in your information, simple stuff, email and password. Uh, and, you know, as normal as a signing up process would be. So I'm just going to do this and get back to you once I'm done. And by the way, once you add your email and password, they are going to also ask you more about your personal information here. So you just make sure you enter this correctly and then you can just click on save. And that's your uh, registration form for you. It's very simple and easy to fill. So after you sign up, you should find yourself with a yard book. So here you have your dashboard, you have your interface, and you've got plenty to work with. So if we look, take a look at the at first thing here is going to be the sitemap. If we click on the sitemap, it's actually just going to show us every single thing that we can actually change, edit, or use within Yardbook. Uh, next, we've got the settings, which is the gear icons. Here are going to be more information about yourself company logo and more stuff about yourself and your business. So actually just make sure you go to settings first and set up everything that needs to be set up about yourself and business. Next, we've got the uh, Yardbook calculator, which is going to help you calculate uh, many things here. You can see gravel, plants, fertilizer, and all, uh, all of those things. We can actually go ahead and calculate them and calculate the area and uh, things like that. So you can actually go ahead and always use those, uh, this tool, I mean, in here. Uh, next, we've got the to-do list, which is very useful. So you can always just go to your to-do list and actually go ahead and add a new to-do list item. So we can actually go ahead and add something in here and click on save. And it's actually going to just be saved in here. So we have our to-do list options here or a list of items here. We can delete them, and obviously just uh, work on them. Click on the plus, uh, which is the image, I mean. Uh, and we can just click on done once we are done with it. Uh, we can reopen it, obviously. And basically, this is going to be the section for your to-do list. You can add as many as you would like. And you can always just go ahead and check them off once you are done. And it's going to also show you the date and time when you have finished it. So next, if we just go to the dashboard, for the dashboard, it's actually just going to show you the last things or the most recent things that have happened this month. So last 30 days is going to show you all of the new things, like the new customers that have been added. Uh, to your Yardbook account, new estimates, new invoices, payments received, and you can see more stuff here like aging invoices, which are you know previous ones over the uh, over time, and you can also see recent notes if you have any notes in here. So basically, think of your dashboard as the place to go to first to just go ahead and always check how things are running for your business and your, your book account. 
Next is going to be for the uh, customers, not jobs. For customers here, uh, for customers here, you can see everything that is related to your customers that you have added in here. Their information, emails, um, their uh, contact information, and a lot of stuff. We will get through each one soon. Uh, for jobs, here you can add your tasks and jobs and you know things that you will need to obviously accomplish. Uh, this way you can better track them uh, with time and you can also set up time for each task and stuff. This is going to be for your work management. It's going to help you uh, manage your work and have them all in this one place. For estimates, if you just click on estimates, you can actually go ahead and create new estimates, which will show you um, things like you can actually just go ahead and create one. And you can see, you can create an estimate for a lot of things. So I can't really tell you what you will be getting uh, in return, but you can use it for many different reasons and things that are related to your yard work and stuff. And it's going to help you pinpoint to the uh, you know, estimates of the pricing points and all of those things. For invoices, same, same thing, you can go ahead and actually go ahead and create your invoices and you will have these steps to get paid. So you can go ahead and uh, add your, the people that, uh, the customers and stuff with the invoices and all of those things. And you can see these steps here, new invoice, pending payments and paid uh, lastly. Uh, which we all want. Uh, so you have all of those things. You can do them in the invoices tab. And we have chemicals and equipment. Both are going to be where we list the uh, equipment that we use, which is going to obviously track them better. Same goes for the chemicals that we use. Also is going to be for tracking them better and making sure we are working in a safe environment. And then the site map is the same thing that we just talked about uh previously uh now let's actually go ahead and talk about um actually before that we can actually just click on the top right we can see your profile picture here if you click on it so you can see your catalog employees and crew uh settings user profile and you can also log out from there and for the quick add instead of just going through these menu items on the left side you can actually go ahead and create uh, or add a new customer job task visit as estimate invoice or uh, more things here like the expenses if you want to track the expenses that you are going through and all of those things and payments and so much more you can quick add them from this menu over here now if you just go to customers we can actually just go ahead and simply add customers by clicking on add or through the quick add uh, doesn't really matter so let me just click on add here and in here, you'll need to obviously add uh, more information about the customer, like first name, last name, phone number, which is optional, uh, and email, which will help you obviously contact them much easier. And then you will need to add their address, city, and zip code. Uh, so very simply, you can add as many customers as you want. Uh, for jobs, it's going to be exactly the same thing. We can just go ahead and click on jobs and we can just choose whether we want to add a new job, task or visit. So we can add a task, for example, and it's going to give us a few things that we need to fill. First name, last name, email and phone number uh, and the address, obviously, for the person uh, that needs to take this task. So apparently, no, this is adding a new customer, which I was confused about, but you need to actually have one customer to go ahead and add a task. This is why it doesn't really make sense. So basically, if you have a customer, you'll be able to create job task and visit basically what you will be asked to fill in. Once you create a job or a task or visit are more details about the task or job. And also the place that will take place for the job, basically the address where it's going to take place. So it's very simple and easy. Just make sure you have a customer and not fall for the same thing that I just uh, went through. Uh, and we have the estimates, same thing goes here, go ahead and click on estimates. And basically that's how your book works. And at the end of the day, you can just go to customers and check out all the customers that you have 
jobs and check out all the jobs that you have or you can just go to dashboard and it's going to show you pretty much everything that you uh, need for your yard book for the last 30 days and you can always use quick add if you want to so it doesn't really need much explanation your book is very easy to use and it's going to also be very impactful for your uh, business so with that being said i hope this benefited you and thanks for watching